All right, here we go. Number 14 from our college algebra, homework number four in our My Lab Math. They ask us to use synthetic division to find the function value, then check your work using a graphing calculator. Hmm, okay. So what we could do is for this function value f of 3, we could just plug in a 3 for every x and work it out. And that would give us our function value, but they want us to use synthetic division. So what I'm going to do is come over here in my screen and show you how that works. First of all, we want to find f of 3. So that means that 3 is going to go in our box. And then we're going to take the coefficients of the function, starting with x to the fourth has a coefficient of 1 x to the third, negative 1, and then negative 19, 35, negative 28. Now you want to make sure that every power of the variable is represented. So we've got 4, 3, 2, 1, and none. So that means that every power is represented. And then we're going to crank out the synthetic division. Here we go. First, the 1 drops, and then we multiply. 3 times 1 is 3, and then add. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 19 plus 6, that's going to be negative 13. And then we're going to do negative 13 times 3. Negative 39 plus 35. That's going to be negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then adding these up gives us, let's see, 8 and 2 is 10. 2 plus 1, negative 40. So this is the remainder of the synthetic division. It turns out that that is also the function value. And so let's see if I lied to you. Negative 40. Bam! That is correct. And so that is how you crank out the synthetic division to get your function value. But now let's show how to check with the graphing calculator. So what I want to do over here is come to Desmos, and we're going to put in our function, f of x equals the fourth minus x to the third minus 19x squared plus 35x minus 28. And as you can see, we get a function. If I zoom out a little bit, it looks kind of weird. And so what I can do is I can click on this graph and drag. Notice it's going to give me ordered pairs. So if I drag it to where x is 3, Let's go down here. Three. Can I get there? There it is. Three is negative 40. Hmm. Cool. Which is the same answer we got. So that's one way you can verify with your graphing calculator that your answer is correct. Remember, you could also just plug a 3 into your function and evaluate it and see if you get negative 40. All right, so that's done. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me if you'd like. And thanks for watching.